Well, I'm going to get you started creating photo collages in Photopea, kind of like what I've done here where I got all these different pieces of different pictures that I've imported and cut and kind of montaged together. I got my inspiration for this project for th from this artist, Deborah Roberts, who I've seen in a few different collections. Uh, she's current working and living in Texas and is commenting on you know, multiple layers of children and the experiences of African American children. Uh, there she is, she's working on her, her collage. She also draws and paints on top of hers. But I'm just going to get you started on uh, cutting and pasting and collaging photos in Photopea. So yeah, I want you to take inspiration from the work of Deborah Roberts for your own digital collage project. Uh, we're going to start just collecting images. I'm going to show you collecting images, downloading images from Google. Uh, use the co Creative Commons and the large uh, options and just making sure that they're JPEGs. I'll also so show you Unsplash real quick. So anyways, get some images from Google. Um, you know how to Google image search. Um, but when you Google image search, the top toolbar, this one says tools, and that'll give you a couple more options. One for size, you want your images to be larger so they don't get blurry. And uh, usage rights, you want Creative Commons licenses that way you're not uh, infringing on anyone's copyrights. Uh, so yeah, you want to get some good images. You don't want watermarks, of course. Um, and you want some ones of like a full body of a child. This one's kind of cute. But yeah, you're going to right click and save image as. And then put it in a stock images folder so you can get to it later. Keep scrolling and trying to find, let me put full body. Oh, there we go. And again, like some of the ones up top. Oh, uh, every time you like research, you're gonna have to go back to tools and hit size large because it uh, clears those inputs. All right, so now I have large Creative Commons. And, oh, this one's kind of neat. All right, save image as, save. So you want to do that uh, three or four times, get some, some images from Google. Just remember that they should be large, uh, about uh, a 1,000 or more pixels is pretty good, and uh, Creative Commons licenses. We want to use those. Um, but that's pretty hard to do, honestly, when you think about Unsplash, uh, which is a free stock photo website. Go to unsplash.com. You can search for uh, pretty much anything. All right, but uh, you'll notice like the first ones that come up is this is really an ad for iStock Getty Images. So the the ones in the box up here are uh, to pay for. You want to keep scrolling, come down. This one's pretty cute, so I might click on it and then hit download for free into my stock images folder. And I know it's pretty good size. So yeah, uh, Unsplash is a great resource for stock images. Let me see. Oh, this one is pretty neat too. Let's go download for free into stock images. So yeah, you want to get two or three, or excuse me, three to four from Google, three to four from Unsplash, and then you're ready to go to Photopea. I uh, go to Photopea. I'm going to start a new one. Here, I'll even just make a new tab for us. Photopea.com. And we're going to start our project, new project. Uh, name it, full name. And then Deborah Roberts Collage. All right. Uh, and then screen, full HD is preferred. Hit create. And you want to keep this white background uh, because most of Deborah Roberts' artwork is on white backgrounds. So here we go. We're going to um, first start by importing uh, like a base image, and uh, we'll collage on top of that. So to import images, you don't want to go File Open because I'll show you what happens. It'll open as a new tab, and it's not in the project. It's in a new tab. So you don't need that. You want to import it as a new layer. So it's file, open, and place. Open and place. And then we're going to place an image. Oh, it 
put it underneath my background. So I'm just going to reorder it. Come on. There we go. All right, so this is my, I, I'm going to call it my base image. And the idea is to select it and cut it out from the background because we don't want the background. Um, so we're going to do everything with the Lasso Selects tool today, which is drawing selections. Uh, and you want to carefully draw a selection around your subject. And if you mess up a little bit, that's okay. Just keep going because I'm going to show you how to make adjustments and add to subtract from your selection. All right. So yeah, now you can like zoom in and kind of see like, oh, some of these uh, selection like bits weren't selected. So up top, there's this button called Unite. And if you switch to Unite, everything you then draw your selection around is going to add to your original selection. So I'm adding to my original selection this little bit. Right? There we go. Um, but if there's pieces that you want to remove from your selection, the next one, I believe, is Subtract. And then you draw your selecting the areas you don't want selected. So you take your time and make a good selection of your subject. It might take a little bit of time for the first one, but that's okay. All right. Again, those circles up at the top are your friend. You don't want to have to redraw the selection every time you make a little mistake. So you can switch back and forth, add to subtract from and if you're zoomed in and trying to navigate around your composition I'm just holding space bar to get the hand so I can click and drag like something kind of weird happened right here and some parts got deselected all right we're gonna keep going for this little bit and our thumb and for the sake of time, we're just going to say that that's a good selection. But you do want to go around and, and make like uh, uh, the best selection that you can. It does take a little bit of time, but it's worth it. All right, so once you have your selection, you have a couple different options. Uh, you go edit, cut, but then it says that you need to rasterize it. Of course, you could go like layer, rasterize, and then edit, cut, and then edit, paste. But um, really, there's even a quicker way to do it. If you just copy it, it'll, it'll copy, and then you can paste it. So edit, copy, edit, paste. And you can see now I have a new layer. And uh, my new layer is just what was selected. And then this other layer, uh, the original image, I can trash. I'm just going to hit the trash button. And now I have my base image all cut out, my subject right here. And I can uh, continue uh, opening images as layers and cutting pieces. So open in place is your friend. And we're going to find another image. All right. Kind of like this lady's nose. So I'm going to zoom in. Lasso select the nose. And edit, copy, edit, paste. And I see that my reference image on its own layer can get deleted because I have my nose, the part that I want on its own layer. And using the move tool, I'm going to place it in position. Zoom in. Let's flip it around. Um, you can also use the transform tools. Edit, transform. There's warp, distort, rotate. All this fun stuff is in here. Um, that could help you depending on uh, which part of your image you want. And then if there's ever any part that maybe you want to like trim off, like this little bit of the nose I might want to trim off, uh, you could always take the eraser tool and carefully trim it down. All right, there we go. That's one. We're going to do another one, open in place. And let's find 
another. Oh, where'd it go? Yeah, sometimes they come out smaller than expected. So let's see, I kind of like this ear. So I'm going to hit L for lasso and select little boy's ear. And then again, edit copy, edit paste. And I'll paste to a new layer. And this original layer, I can trash. And with that move tool, move that piece whoops, into position. That's like I accidentally grabbed the, the rotate axis. So you can see like now it's going to rotate around that axis. Anyways, let's move that kind of back into position and get this ear over here. Enlarge it, transform it, put it in place. Hopefully it doesn't get too blurry. When you zoom out all the way, it's not too blurry. So um, yeah, that looks okay to me. I'm gonna go file, open in place again, and see if I can get this little girl's smile. Oh, layers stack in order. All right, lasso, select the next part. No, that's too much. So let's subtract that part and maybe that part and maybe that part. Um, so hopefully you get the point. Uh, you make good selections. Go edit, copy, edit, paste. And now I have my mouth on its own layer. And the original I can delete with the little trash can button. And I noticed that I don't really like this little doodad right here. So I'm going to Clean it up with the eraser. That looks okay to me. And uh, let's move it into position with the move tool. Right, rotate it a little bit. There you go. All right, so we have like four images so far. We're gonna try to get to six. So open in place. See if we can get another person that makes sense or doesn't make sense. All right, so I like this lady's hat. Whoops. All right, we're going to use a lasso, make a quick selection of this woman's hat or wrap. Edit, copy, edit, paste. And when you paste, it's pasting onto its new layer. And you can delete that original reference layer or stock photo that you imported. And let's see if we can try to get this in a way that fits nice. I'm not sure it is because now I have a ear over there that isn't. In. So let's try to move that up. No, so that's okay, right? All right, one more. Uh, file open in place, and let's get another. All right. Oh, it's down here. All right, so I'm going to move it up in the layers palette. There we go. All right, so let's see if we can just get a whole part of a cheek. Maybe like a whole kind of chin and half a face. Selection, edit, copy, edit, paste, and remove that original. Now let's get, where'd it go? This one, that layer. I'm gonna move it in place. Try to transform it. And get it a little bit bigger. 
And don't uh, don't be afraid to use those other transform tools. Like distort's a good one because you can kind of like stretch your pieces. Right? And uh, use the stacking order in the, the layers palette to your advantage. Uh, this hat, let me see if I can like pull that up, but then I lost the ear. Where's the ear? Oh, there it is. So let's put the ear like all the way up top. There you go. That's just six parts of six images collaged together in Photopea. And then of course you're gonna save it, file, save as a PSD and submit this PSD to Classwork.